There was a crooked man. He is a 1970 Western comedy that tells the story of Paris Pittman Jr., a charming but crooked man who ends up in prison after hiding a large sum of money. The movie takes you on a wild ride through his attempts to escape and retrieve his loot. Along the way, you'll find yourself laughing, gasping, and maybe even feeling a bit sad as the story unfolds. One fascinating fact about this movie is that it features a star-studded cast, including Kirk Douglas and Henry Fonda, but it also has a unique twist on the typical Western genre by adding a humorous spin to it. A scene that might stick with you is when Paris first reveals where he hid his money. It's clever and sets the tone for his cunning character. Now, we're curious about your connection to this film. What is your most treasured memory or personal experience with There Was a Crooked Man? Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments below. We're looking forward to reading about what this movie means to you. In the 1970 movie, there was a crooked man. A clever outlaw named Paris Pittman Jr. ends up in prison after hiding a fortune in stolen money. The film takes us to the American West of the late 19th century, where Pittman must navigate the tricky social dynamics of prison life to protect his secret and plan his escape. With a cast led by Kirk Douglas and Henry Fonda, the movie blends humor with a sharp look at the human spirit's drive for freedom and wealth. It stands out for its unique take on the Western genre, focusing more on character interactions than action-packed scenes. Directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, this film offers a twist on the typical tale of outlaws and lawmen, making it a memorable piece of cinema from that era. In the landscape of American cinema, Actors bring to life various characters, leaving a lasting impression through their performances. Kirk Douglas, known for his dynamic roles, was portrayed by Dino Gorman in the film Trumbo, highlighting Douglas's influence in Hollywood. Hume Cronin, another actor with a notable career, secured a Tony Award for his role in Hamlet, showcasing his talent on both stage and screen. Burgess Meredith, recognized for his distinctive acting style, was considered for a role in Batman Returns, demonstrating the ongoing demand for his skills despite health challenges. These actors contributed to the rich tapestry of film history, each bringing unique qualities to their roles and establishing themselves as memorable figures in the industry. In the mid-1940s, Ilya Kazan was on the lookout for an actress to bring the character of Blanche Dubois to life in his Broadway production of Streetcar Named Desire. His search led him to a Los Angeles stage where Jessica Tandy, under the direction of Hume Cronin, was performing in Portrait of a Madonna. Impressed by her portrayal, Kazan offered Tandy the significant role. Meanwhile, Victor French, known for his role as the humorous Mr. Edwards in Little House, inspired his great niece Kristen M. Mee to pursue acting. She affectionately referred to him as Uncle Eddie, a nod to his beloved character. Jean Cooper blazed a trail as one of the first soap opera actresses to appear on nearly every talk show, setting a precedent for daytime and primetime guest appearances. In the midst of World War II, Jean Evans displayed exceptional courage, earning a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star. Alan Hale Jr.'s acting achievements were recognized with the Hollywood Walk of Fame star in 1960. Henry Fonda, another actor who served his country, was honored with a Bronze Star and a Presidential Citation for his service. These actors brought their real-life valor to the screen, enriching their performances with genuine experiences of bravery and recognition. In the landscape of cinema, actors often transition across various forms of art and achieve recognition in multiple arenas. Henry Fonda, known for his powerful performances, was honored with a special Tony Award in 1979, marking his excellence in theater. Lee Grant, another talent from the screen, joined an exclusive group of 25 actresses who have received an Academy Award for a comedic role, with her win for Shampoo in 1975. This group includes esteemed names like Claudette Colbert and Jennifer Lawrence, showcasing a tradition of excellence in comedic acting. Martin Gable, with a background far from the limelight as the son of a jeweler, carved his own path in the arts. His journey took him from studying English at Lehigh University to training at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, and eventually to success on Broadway. His career was further distinguished by his association with Orson Welles' Mercury Theatre Company, where he was recognized as a skilled character actor. These artists brought their unique experiences and accolades to the film, each contributing to its narrative with their distinct backgrounds and celebrated achievements. In 
the landscape of American cinema. Shifts in personal identity and political disagreements among actors were not uncommon. Actor John Randolph made a significant personal change early in his career by adopting a new name, leaving behind Emmanuel Cohen in 1940. Decades later, Kirk Douglas, known for his strong convictions, experienced a falling out with Jimmy Carter, a former president and one-time close friend, over differing views on Middle Eastern politics. Meanwhile, Henry Fonda, often perceived as conservative, openly supported his daughter Jane's protest against the Vietnam War, publicly defending her actions and affirming her integrity to her detractors. In the world of classic cinema, friendships and personal challenges often go unseen behind the scenes. Alan Hale Jr., known for his role in Gilligan's Island, shared a close bond with co-star Don Wells, frequently dining together at his own restaurant. During the production of a notable film, Hume Cronin faced a personal health battle, diagnosed with optic cancer leading to the loss of an eye. Despite the director's concern, Cronin's dedication saw him working extra hours to finish his scenes before undergoing surgery. Meanwhile, Henry Fonda, a celebrated actor, was recognized for his significant screen presence, securing the sixth spot on the American Film Institute's list of top male screen legends. These insights offer a glimpse into the lives of those who shaped an era of storytelling on screen. In the world of cinema, support from family can be a game changer. This was the case for Michael Douglas, who, after being removed from Summer Tree, saw his father, Kirk Douglas, step in to secure the stage and film rights for him. Meanwhile, Gene Evans, known for his robust performances, had a humble beginning with his parents running Evans Market, a local grocery store in Colton, California. Gene Cooper, another stalwart of the screen, faced a severe health challenge with a critical infection just a month before her passing, showing the vulnerability that lies behind the screen's facade. In the twilight of his life, Hume Cronin found love again with Susan Cooper, a creative partner from his past work. They joined hands in marriage when he was 85. Henry Fonda, reflecting on his career in a candid interview, expressed regret over his role in sex and the single girl labeling it his least favorite work. Meanwhile, a grand vision took shape in the Joshua Tree National Monument, where a vast 2880s prison set rose from the desert floor. This ambitious project, spearheaded by Edward Carrer, featured complete buildings rather than mere facades, all to ensure authenticity for the aerial shots planned for the film. The set included a variety of structures, from living quarters to a gallows, all surrounded by a formidable rock pile painstakingly constructed without disturbing the natural vegetation. This dedication to detail created an immersive backdrop that transported viewers straight into the heart of the story.